Hi there ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in this video, I will discuss how to run regression in MS Excel. Now, first of all, uh, you have to install the analysis tool pack add-in from the Excel installation media if it has not already been installed. And you have to attach the analysis tool pick add in from the menu, select tools and then adds in. When the add ins dialog appears, you have to select analysis tool pick and then you have to click OK. After uh, clicking OK, just check analysis tool pick and click OK. And when you click OK, then you are ready to enter the data. And uh, data on each variable must be entered in a separate column. For example, you have data on A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. Then data on all these variables must be in separate columns. Now you have to label the top of each column with a symbol or brief description to identify the variables. Multiple linear regression analysis requires that all the data on independent variables be in adjacent columns in Excel. Uh, this is kind of a worksheet in Excel. Uh, there are two variables. Uh, in column one, you see this is time. Say, for example, this is yearly data for 10 years data. Then in column B, there is advertising expenditure of the firm. And in column C, these are the sales revenue of the firm. So basically, two variables are of interest for us. One is sales revenue and one is advertising expenditure. Now, in this Sales revenue is the dependent variable, whereas uh, advertising expenditure is the independent variable. Now, how to run the regression? Now, select the regression tool from the analysis tool pack, tool pack dialog. From the main menu, select tools and then data analysis. And the data analysis dialog, you have to scroll down the list of analysis tools. Then to select regression and then click OK. Then the regression tool dialog will be displayed. And this is how it looks like. From this menu, you have to select regression and click OK. And after clicking OK, now this dialog box will appear. And here you see, uh, you have to put data for the dependent variable in input Y range. Then you have to put uh, data on the independent variable in input X range. You have to check the label. And then you have to give the output range where the regression output will appear. And after that, you have to click OK. And after that, uh, you have to select the ranges. You know, type in the data range for the Y variable or select the range on the worksheet. Type in the data range for the X variables or select the range on the worksheet. If you, if your ranges include data labels, then it is recommended that you have to check the labels option. And uh, you are, uh, uh, you, uh, your regression uh, commands look like this. Now you see in input Y range, there is a whole range of the dependent variable. In input X range, there is the range of the data of the dependent variable or variables. And this, the label uh, is checked. And uh, then you will have to uh, give the output range and then click OK. And after that, uh, you have to select the an output option output to select range selection is the upper left corner of the output range or you have to do that in output to a new worksheet or output to a new workbook and then click ok uh, when you click ok you will get this output now these results have already been explained by me in another video and uh, in this model there are two variables you know the dependent variable is uh, sales revenue and the explanatory variable is uh, advertising expenditure. Uh, in row number 17, there is constant or intercept term and its coefficient is 7.6. Its T value is 1.20. Its P value is uh, 0 0.26. And the uh, independent variable advertising has a coefficient of 3.53. Its T value is 6.76. Its p value is 0.001428. Now, the coefficient of 3.533 3 
means that if advertising expenditure of the firm increases by 1 million, its sales revenue will increase by 3.53 million. And this coefficient is highly significant. Uh, and it, it is according to the theory because if you the ex advertising expenditure increases, it must lead to increase in uh, uh, the sales revenue. So the algebraic sign is positive. The F statistic is a uh, 45.76. It's significant and it shows that the overall model is significant. Multiple R are the coefficient, co correlation coefficient between the observed and the predicted Y is 0.92 which means that uh, they are highly correlated r squared value is 0 0.85 which shows the explanatory power of the model and it shows that 85 percent of the variation in sales revenue is explained by advertising expenditure uh, now i uh, now i enter another variable and here we have three variables uh, in the b column we have sales revenue in column c we have advertising expenditure and in column D, we have quality control. Now, C and D are two explanatory variables, whereas uh, B column shows the values of the dependent variable. So, we will have to regress sales on advertising expenditure and quality control. And uh, these values are in uh, million dollars. Now, again, we have to give input Y range, that is the dependent variable range and then the uh, independent variable range. Now, this time there are two variables. So we will put two variables in this range. And then the label must be checked on and then output range should be defined. Then we will click OK. And after that, we will get this output. Now, this output is a little bit different than the earlier output because in the earlier output, there were only two variables and that model was simple linear regression model. But in this model, which is in front of you now, there are two independent variables and one dependent variable. So this is a multiple linear regression model. Now, the, the, the coefficient of the intercept are the constant is 17.9. And the coefficient for the advertising expenditure in row number 18 in this uh, table is 1.86. And it means that if advertising expenditure increases by $1 million, then the sales revenue of the firm will increase by $1.87 million, keeping quality control the same. Similarly, the coefficient of the quality control is 1.915. And it shows that if quality control is increased by $1 million, then the sales revenue of the firm will increase by $1.91 million. If you look at the p-values of the coefficients of advertising expenditure and quality control, then the p-value shows that both of these variables are significant, at least at 5%. And the signs of these two variables, uh, the signs of the coefficients of these two variables are positive, which means that uh, these two variables positively um, affect the sales revenue. Now, if you look at the F state value of uh, this regression, this is in E12, and uh, the value is equal to 46.61, and uh, its significance value is very much high. So, F state shows that this model is uh, significant. Now, there are some other uh, necessary information in this model, and these are regression statistics. The first regression statistics is multiple R. Multiple R is the coefficient correlation of the actual or the observed values of Y and the predicted or the estimated value of Y. And this correlation coefficient is equal to 0 0.96 and it shows that the correlation between the observed and the predicted Y value are uh, highly correlated. Another explanation of multiple R is that this is the correlation coefficient between the dependent variable and the two independent variables jointly. Uh, in row number 5, there is R squared and the value of R squared is 0 0.93 and it shows that 93% of the variation in the sales revenue of the firm are explained by the two explanatory variables that is advertising expenditure and uh, quality control. Adjusted R square is given in uh, row number 6 and its value is 0 0.91. The difference between the R square 
and adjusted r square is that the adjusted r square is uh, adjusted for degrees of freedom where r square is unadjusted the total number of observation is uh, 10 now you if you look at the overall result of this model this model looks very good its r square is very high is uh, correlation coefficient of the observed and the estimated value of y is very good the f statistics is significant the individual coefficients of the two variables of the two independent variables of advertising and quality control are significant so the overall model is uh, very good so this is how we can uh, interpret uh, a multiple linear regression model uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, I would like you to subscri subscribe to the channel, like the videos and so that you can get notifications when I uh, upload uh, other uh, uh, videos in future. Thank you.